I'm Aaron. And I'm Terrell. And we're going to be explaining the blower motor electrical operations and diagnosis. Now, follow me now, follow me now. So this is a circuit for the blower motor that we have. It uses a variable controller. And so with this uh, picture, the power will come from here, which is the body control module. It'll flow down into our front control interfering interface. Yeah, or yeah, interface module. And it'll flow this way into our blower motor relay. This relay, once it has power, will close our switch here, which has power coming to it at all times, as shown by hot at all times. And then that is a load, as in it's a coil that pulls the switch closed. The relay grounds itself out through this little wire here. Grounds out. And the power comes from here, flows into the switch. And since the switch is closed now, it flows through the switch into the blower motor. And the blower loader motor. <laughs> is our load and the power will then flow through the signal wire into our variable blower control to allow the front control interface module to know what is happening with the blower motor and vary its speed. And then that grounds out here through this ground and also grounds the blower motor here through this ground. so kindly highlighted for us. Here we have our battery, which is gonna provide all of our source voltage. We have our blower motor, which is the fan that blows that cool, cool air on your face. Here we have your front interface control module, which is a, a small computer-like thing, and the other well on your dash. And here is your fan speed, where you control how much of that cool, cool air hits your face. So first, the power goes through a 40 amp fuse and through the blower motor relay, and then it goes down to the actual blower motor where this transistor is a part of it, embedded within it. <clears throat> so, have one, the number one here goes to your, bo your body ground, number three is power, and number two is your signal wire. Now your signal wire is a digital signal, which means it works on an on signal and it works on an off signal. So depending on how much fan speed, you have a variable resistor in your fan speed switch, the part you touch and turn, it controls how much of a digital signal, how much of that digital signal is on or off, allowing your blower motor to blow faster or slower. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth with the blower motor. This blower motor has a built-in transistor. With this transistor, it has three main wires. Your collector, which is your battery power, your base, which is a signal wire, and your emitter, which is your ground. Now the signal wire, it stimulates the semiconductor and transmits a digital signal to the blower motor for various speeds. With this signal right here, as you can see, down here, it's spending more time off spending a lot more time on. So that means the blow motor speed is 
changing speed a bit here, folks. We have our scan tool connected to the car and all of the car's information inputted into the scan tool. And we are going to test all the working functions of the blower motor. All right, so here we have all of our possible tests we can do. Right now I'm gonna focus on showing the blower motor. So I'm gonna scroll down and choose blower motor speed level, which you can see there's some, there's two out of, I think, six bars. Now I'm gonna go here on my computer and click add and add to this value. see the blow motor speed picks up. And that's how you test pulse width modulation. What we have here is also another test to test the blow motor. What we have here is an oscilloscope. And what you see here is the digital signal, which is off and on. You see how it's spinning? more time off than on. So we're gonna bump up the speed and you're gonna see the transition. See that? See how the on widening up? That means it's, the fan is staying on a little longer. See that? It's spending more time off. On?